Anne Payton lives in this ground floor council flat. In her 20 years here, there's been issues. But what happened three weeks ago was the final straw. She was met with this. Her bathroom light flowing with water and human waste from upstairs. In a building which she feels is becoming ever more structurally unsound and difficult to live in. Eventually, the water took part of the ceiling with it, leaving a gaping hole in the roof and an overwhelming smell of dampness in the air. This is just the latest problem, and Anne says the stress is taking its toll. I tend not to go into any of the other rooms apart from the room I sleep in. I am very rarely I sit in my living room because I just I don't want to be in a house. I do not want to be in this house. It is it's going to kill me. It is going to kill me. Anne says she's been on the waiting list to downsize for three years. She has spare rooms here, but her grandchildren can't visit due to its state. My kids want me to park my bags and move them with one of them because it's that bad. They're that concerned about my health. They physically want me to just park a bag and move them with one of them until I can find some other accommodation that's suitable. All throughout the home is mould, some areas worse than others. In this cupboard here is mould that has been there for years. This cupboard once housed treasured family photos, but most, if not all, are destroyed. This home is not habitable. I wouldn't call this a home anymore, it's a house. They never fix it, um, they just don't seem to care. Breathing, COPD, all connected with mould, spores. Um, we've tried to tell this to the council many times and they just don't listen. The walls have mostly been patched up, but cracks are still visible. and stripped all her wallpaper off so the extent of the damage is clearer to the council, yet she says nothing has been done. Daughter Cara says she worries for her mother's health. And it's so destroying to see her losing weight, crying, being put into hospital, the grandkids can't stay over. It's not nice. It should be a family home, especially this size. We asked Aberdeen City Council for comment. A spokesperson told us hygiene problems reported about the ceiling were not in evidence at the time of their visit. As a precaution, an external contractor was asked to carry out a deep clean. They said the bathroom has been made safe and a full repair will be arranged. But in the meantime, Anne's living in a house she quite simply doesn't want to be in, a place she feels is more uninhabitable by the day. Brandon Cook, STV News.